Clearing spills. As horrible as it is to spill something in the dining area and during service, mistakes do happen. What is important when this happens is not who is to blame, but rather how you deal with clearing up the spill. This is a great indicator to your guests of how professional you are. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the following points regarding spills. Being prepared. Cleaning up guest spills. Cleaning up spills on the floor and cleaning up spills on the guest. Let's start with being prepared. Carry a clean service cloth with you or close at hand. It is part of your waiter's toolkit and is especially useful when spills happen. Part of being able to deal with spills is knowing what your establishment's policy on spills is. Make sure that you know it and understand it well. For example, know where to find the front of house broom and mop what to do in the case of an emergency, and know who you need to inform about breakages. Now let's look at cleaning up guest spills. The most common form of spill in the dining area is the guest spill. Guests are often enjoying their dining experience so much that they lose concentration and a glass gets knocked over. The main thing to understand is that there has been a spill and you need to clear it up promptly. When a guest spills on a table, you must do the following. Step 1. Provide the guest with a clean service cloth. If you don't have one on you, quickly fetch one from back of house. Step 2. If there is any ice or broken glass on the table, remove this using your service cloth. Ensure that all of the pieces of glass have been removed. Then cover the dirty area with a clean service cloth. If necessary, neaten the table setting to look as it did before. Step 3. Ask the guest if you may replace their drink for them. For example, Mrs. Jones, may I get you another glass of wine? Step 4. If the spill involved a lot of liquid and is very wet, you will need to come back in 5 minutes to replace the service cloth that you have used to cover the spill. Now let's move on to cleaning up floor spills. When something is spilled on the floor, there are a few important steps to follow. Step 1. Ask a colleague to watch the spilled area, to warn guests who may walk past, so that they don't get hurt. Teamwork is vital. Step 2. Fetch the cleaning equipment. Remember to use the mop and broom that are reserved for front of house. Lastly, Step 3. Quickly and efficiently coordinate with your colleagues to clean up the mess as silently as possible. This is because clearing up staff spills is all about speed. The quicker you get it done, the better. Finally, let's finish off with cleaning up staff spills on guests. Spills on guests are the worst kind of spills. This is why you always need to be extra careful when carrying trays and pouring drinks around your guests. Furthermore, this is why you always need to remain at least one arm's length away from your guests. To clean up staff spills on guests, follow these steps. Step 1. Apologize and hand the guest a clean service cloth immediately. Never try to clean the spill on the guest yourself. They will feel extremely uncomfortable and you may make them even more upset. Step 2. Fetch a second clean service cloth and bring it to the guest. Step 3. Inform management immediately of the situation. You may end up needing their help in dealing with the situation. Step 4. If you spill the guest's drink or meal, fetch the guest another one immediately asking the chef or bartender to make it top priority. Lastly, step 5. When you take the drink or meal to the table again, apologize one last time. Good luck putting this knowledge into practice when clearing spills. <laughs>